Hello and welcome to the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills recap in this bitch. I really recognize my position that people are watching me. I'm thinking to myself, oh, the world is watching and I have something important to say and I want to change people's lives and now my mission is different and I have a responsibility to this whole world. It's the small things that matter, okay? So let's get into it. Where we left off, or I guess where we're starting in this bitch, is Erica out of order. And while her questions, I don't think, are, you know, necessarily... Okay, they are extremely out of order for the setting that we are in. We are at Sour Lips Party. Ugh, I didn't mean to say sour lips, but I did mean to say sour lips because... Mm, and I'm not trying to make fun of her, but I meant to say lizard lick because, you know, she likes to lick that tongue all over. Ooh, ooh. But let me get back on track and let me, you know, it's hard to stay off of Madam because we are at her house. Ooh, excuse me, I forgot to say allegedly. Allegedly in this bitch because I don't want to get sued. Okay, I'm not trying to, you know, cut any checks to get sued. Yeah, yeah, like I said, allegedly, madam. But anyways, like I said, Erica is out of order. Are you or how do you feel? Yeah. Do you know? Oh, you look okay. beautiful. Maybe really ignorant for a second. Really beautiful. Is it like you eat it and feel guilty or you deny yourself eating it? I'm just curious. You out of order. You out of order. I always, okay. Well, I always think take laxatives and get rid of it. Really? I'm not gonna lie, Erica's questions were like, I guess she could relate because maybe she went through a similar issue, but wrong time and wrong place. Girl, you know, this is just out of order. Like I said, you know that this is a party. You're making jokes about her eating a chicken wing or she can't have it and stuff like that, girl. Enough. Them Alibaba bundles are squeezing your brain a little bit too tight. And Garcelle, we need to get on you. Now, Miss Garcelle, I forgot to get on your sour wig wearing ass. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. let me stop. Done. <gasps> uh, Miss Garcelle was pissing me off this episode, but let me just say this Garcelle, I forgot to get on your ass last week. Now, Miss Mamas, I gave you a pass, but this week I have to talk about how you told Crystal she looks good, skinny, and whatnot. And you know, to somebody with an eating disorder, that's not right, especially with your ass getting on Erica about what she's saying. Ugh. Anyways, we move on later into the night at Sour Mouse Party and we see her husband or whatever he is. I don't know what's really going on with their arrangement. You can't read those, girl. Get, get, get. Get, get. Yes, mama, work, okay? And I'm not trying to say that he is, you know, um... I'm just saying he's serving sissy that walk. And there's nothing wrong with that. We live. We love that. Girl, I'm gay. I live for it. Yes. Okay. But anyways, we get on into later in the night and we see him singing a tune. And we're not going to be playing that here because this is not American Idol. And I did not want to hear it. Okay. She needs to go. Anyways, we see Sour Mouth. Uh, I guess there's two Sour Mouths. Lisa Renna. Um, Diana and Erica, and then we see plastic hard face Kath. Okay, let me just stop. Let me be nice. Ah! No, I'm just saying everybody's faces are looking a little bit pulled, and when I say pulled, I mean tight, tight to the motherfucking max. Okay, but let's get to the point. Anyways, Erica's sitting down crying, boo hoo hoo, and scene for the actress. She's apologizing to. 
Kathy, I guess, for not coming to Paris's party due to being embarrassed of her legal scandal. I didn't want to bring that shame on this day. She should have been so beautiful. And seen for the actress. And by the way, she, she loved <laughs> huh? What, uh, girl? What was that? All of you girls are really in your acting bags this season. I see. Um, you shed a tear and then you quickly went back into cheering a drink. I mean, come, wh uh, what the fuck? Uh, anyways, here I go talking about Miss Madam again. Oh, here I go. I forgot to say allegedly because I don't need them doing nothing over here, okay? Stay away from my page. Now, if there was one thing Madam finally got fucking right this season, it was to apologize to Sa Oh, I almost called Garcelle something crazy. It was to apologize to Garcelle. No, Sorry, like ooh, ooh, interjecting like I do, mind you, Garcelle was in the middle of talking, and I will say Sour Lips did interrupt her, and I would have said, bitch, let me finish, but okay. You know, Debra, I'm my sorry, like, my behavior at your party was inappropriate. It really was. Sutton said a few things. She literally pressed every button that was to press. Oh, uh, Miss Madam, Miss Madam, Miss Madam. Oh, 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 hold on, I forgot to say. Allegedly in this bitch, because I don't want to get sued in this motherfucking hoe. And that's a lawsuit. You are going to jail. Period. See, now, Miss Nuda Rich doesn't know how to apologize because you say sorry and you own up to it and leave it at that. You're now trying to bring up Sutton and say that's the reason why you were acting so loony toony, bitch. No, you were acting a mess because you were acting a motherfucking mess like madams do. Oh, let me just stop calling her that and let me just move on. She apologized. I'm gonna let it go. Let me reverse like it's Uno in this bitch. I forgot that she said Garcelle was totally more approachable at her party. I don't know what Diana means more approachable because she's the one who's been turned the fuck up. And when I say she, I mean Madam Diana. I mean, girl, you've been the one on 10 turning up on people, saying they're clumsy with their words. I mean, I know that's not necessarily turning up, but you have been eating Sutton the fuck up. And I have no time for Transformers. And it's a Decepticon. Uh, so the next scene we get is Pussy PK as I named him in the last recap. This is what you need to do. You need to stay out of women business. Uh, Lord, get into the acting scene. Yep. Well, I haven't even told you like the anxiety I went through. I haven't really had a chance to update you. Like what? Well, when they've asked me to blow into the machine, they said the legal limit 0.8 and I'm at 0 0.81. It was getting late, and I didn't want you to worry about where I was, you know? Hola, 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 hola. Huh, you didn't want to worry me, and it's 4 a.m. Where were you at anyways? Looking for pussy? What, um, what's going on? Were you not going to tell me that you got pulled over? Where were you out drinking? Probably with Mauricio. Probably with some hoes. Okay, yeah, allegedly. Let me stop. Allegedly in this bitch, because I don't want to get sued. Okay, I'm not trying to, you know, cut any checks to get Let's sued. I could, do you understand? I couldn't use the phone. And I'm still handcuffed. I'm handcuffed when I'm blowing the second time, and this time I've blown 0.73. You're and under well, the limit, I I'm know. I'm well under the limit. I know. I decided, because I wasn't booked or such, and they just gave me a ticket, that I wasn't going to tell you the whole thing happened. There's one thing and one thing only that is extremely important to me, as you know, in our marriage. Which we is what? do not lie to one another. No, I period. Wasn't, baby. Not a little lie, not a big I lie, decided, not a white lie. I decided Wait a that second. I wasn't telling you something. Wait a second, PK. Girl, bring it on down. Did you tell him about you and Mauricio? You want to be so on? Uh, let me stop. Anyways, let's move on. I'm tired of them. This is the tea for today. Oh, oh. Moving on, we see Erica White. I'm oh 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 oh. We see Erica Jane. Sorry, that was the name she used when doing fraud, allegedly. Allegedly in this bitch, cause I don't wanna get sued in this motherfucking hoe. And that's a lawsuit. You are going to jail. Period. 
I know she need money and she ain't getting it out of me, okay? But like we see, or like I was going to get to the motherfucking point, was Erica Alibaba Jane is selling her fake hair. Um, I wouldn't say this is the best representation as we've seen her tracks hanging out of her motherfucking scalp, but it's cute that she's trying to raise the funds that she snatched from the victims and orphans and widows and so on. I guess I shouldn't say raise because she's not giving the money back to them, but it's nice to see her ass working, I guess, whatever. I actually just feel so bad for the victims, you know, this whole situation as as they've just kind of been watching this unfold. I don't know. I, I just don't understand all that $40,000, you know, a month glam squad. Anyway, Sour Lips Rena comes over and she sympathizes with, you know, Erica on what's going on with her. And she basically, I was happy for this moment. She calls Erica out and says, you know what? Your drinking has been out of order. So I was here for that. It is Because reckless. you know what the truth is? I could have hurt myself. It, it can't, it just can't happen like that. You have gone through a tremendous trauma. Your husband was not the guy that you or any of us thought he was. And you have had to deal with it because you were married to him. Yeah. And you went to this place because you're in a lot of pain. And scene for the actresses. Girl, go back on Days of Our Life or whatever the fuck you was doing, Lisa Renna. And secondly, Erica, you kill me trying to poke your eyes, trying to conjure up a tear, but I'll move on. And secondly, or I'm on my third point. Y'all kill me. I know y'all want to throw Tom under the bus. But Erica White, I mean, ooh, ooh, Erica Jane, I know your ass was a part of the scam and the schemes and everything that was a part of it. Did you ask him if he stole Andy, from these people? Andy, he doesn't even acknowledge anything. Everybody just wants to know if she had any, uh, any insight of what was going on. Why don't you on? drop the camera? Okay? Do you hear me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, he's, he wants to answer the question. No, he doesn't. I think she does. Let's, let's go. Thank you, Tom. now i have been dragged through the mud for something that didn't do where does 80 million dollars go it, yeah. to explain that to me well yeah explain that to me i don't know it costs forty thousand dollars a month to do erica jane so that's hair makeup costumes wardrobe and the whole production of itself okay girl i'm not falling for the whole victim role i get you are drinking and stuff and taking this medicine or whatever you say you're doing but i think it's on account because you know your ass is going to jail like jen shaw i'm fighting this she's i am it. innocent she's fighting it. and i will fight for every person out there that can't fight for themselves because they don't have the resources or the means so they they don't fight i will fight because number one i'm innocent Free Jen Shaw, in its essence, means you're upholding the Constitution. Oh. And scene for the actress. Hi, ladies. How you doing? I want to kill you. Oh, yeah. Take a number, honey. See, when you do clownery, the clown comes back to bite. And before you Erica Jane fans snatch out my edges and poke out my eyeballs, I too am an Erica fan, but I am, you know, 
Okay, first of all, this isn't a tea page, but I do employ you bitches to Google before you start jumping down my throat because, you know, look into who Miss Erica White is. You know, she was using that name for fraud. That ain't cute. Allegedly in this bitch, cause I don't wanna get sued in this motherfucking hoe. And that's a lawsuit. You are going to jail, period. Like I said, it was nice to see almost the fake tear. I just want these girls to stop acting. We got the girl, you know, it was a cute scene when we saw Dorit gagging over Jamie Lee Curtis. I know this is a jump, but I'm just saying the acting, the oh, who, who, the gagging and all that shit, girl, tone it down. They really need to start giving Emmys to housewives because what y'all be putting on is crazy. Hi, I'm Jamie. I'm going to hug you. Oh. Are we hugging? We're hugging. Oh, no. Jamie Lee Curtis. Oh my god! Uh, my hand in yours. Tumblers. No, it really keeps things not. hot and cold and hot and, and cold. So Amazing. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> shit, that makes shit that make your pussy throb right there. <laughs> we have the my hand in yours license plate holder. Wow. <laughs> this dog leash. Stop it right now. And we put a my paw in yours dog tag and, on. And he manufactured I mean, this honestly. and designed a lavender um, candle. It's very chic. These are the hats. So chic. Little snugglies. Really very chic. And scene for the actress. Anyways, moving on, we see Sutton getting ready for her date and, you know, get into it. I think this is cute. Looks a little Valentine's-ish. Mm, looks a little Polly Pocket to me. But anyways, moving on, we see her now sitting down with the man. I forgot his name, but I think it's cute. They're giving adorable. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't. Oh, do you want mine? Uh, let me try this on. Oh, wow. They're 1.5s. I, I think, yeah, we're similar. <laughs> His type seems to me low-key freak. I know that type of man. You know, I would like to say I'm knowledgeable in the older man. Ooh, ooh, not me spilling my tea. But anyways, I would like to think that that old man... Not nah, ooh, ooh, hold on now. <laughs> I meant to say something totally else, but anyways... I get freak vibe from him. Low key freak, like he, you know, gets busy. A, a demon came with his penis and put it in my mouth, and and then he tried. He came again and he slept with me last week. And I, I told the, the pastor that I need deliverance again. And since then, my private part has been itching. It's been itching. Yes. Get him! Look at him! Look! Look! Oral sex! Oral sex! Him! You see oral sex? Look, oral sex, look, 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 look. You, you oral sex, use oral sex. Let that sperm of that man out. Out! Out, you demo! Out! Demon in the private part. Watch what happens. Come out from the private. Come out from the private. Come out from the private. Come out! And I don't know if Sutton is about that life. I'm not trying to, I don't want to see nothing about her sexually or sexualized or anything of that nature. But I'm just saying, he gives me freak. I know y'all going to be like, huh? But that's just me. Anyways, I'm happy for Sutton and this date was cute. Yeah. Anyways, we move on and we see Garcelle sitting down serving a motherfucking look with Erica. And she confronts her about her drinking finally. So how are you? I'm okay. Yeah? Last couple of times I saw you, you were a little tipsy. Ah! Oh, I wasn't tipsy. I was blacked out. Okay. <laughs> I was I starting off slow. No, but I appreciate you trying to, like, be gentle, but of it wasn't. Course. It was blacked out. Uh, okay. Well, girl, get it under control. I'm glad she's owning up to it and so on, but she's, you know, too old for all of this nonsense. You know? Do the crime, pay the time. I'm not sure that's how the saying goes, but clink, clink. 
anyways, I'm happy Garcelle finally confronted her instead of running to everybody else like she was doing previously. It was starting to piss me off. Just go to Garcelle. I mean, fuck. Got me twisted up in this bitch. Go to Erica. You don't have to cover for her all the time. When Erica says her, she's referring to Sutton, and I guess she feels that Garcelle always rides for Sutton, which she does. That's what friends do. Like, people ride for Erica when she's always drinking and making mistakes. You see Kyle's the first one to, oh, she never does this often, so, you know, let her get a pass. And so did your little assistant, twink friend, whatever you want to call him, Mikey, whatever. They all give you passes because they're your friends. So Garcelle does the same with Sutton. She knows what she's doing. Huh? Son's naughty must taste so good because y'all can't get her name out of y'all's mouth. You're a grown fucking woman, and that shit don't make no kind of sense. Anyway, sour drunk ass Erica makes a comment to Garcelle. She's happy that Garcelle has Cherie due to Sutton being a liability. Girl, you're a liability, number one. And two, Cherie ain't no bitch to break. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, let me fix my mouth. Let me get into Miss Cherie because I've been talking about these seeds that she's been talking about on her Instagram, as you see here. And she's taking donations from fans and not saying what the fuck the money's going towards. Now, I did donate $2 to see what happens with this seed planting. I didn't expect anything back. Um, and I didn't get anything back. But if you thought I was done dragging Miss Cherie, you were sadly motherfucking mistaken because why is she selling replica bags from Alibaba on her name, you know, website? What's going on? What's up with that? Do we need to call the feds over to you? You know, that's, that's real questionable. Now I have to look and see if your bags are real or not. I guess that really doesn't matter, but why are you selling replica bags? Why are you scamming? Why are you collecting seeds for two dollars or whatever's going on? Uh, my point being with Cherie is I'm not a fan. Y'all are gassing her up. I was not a fan of her on Hollywood X's, Divas, whatever the fuck she was on. And I'm not a fan of her now. She's a very pretty girl, but her and the scams can bounce. Okay, it's over for you, bitch. Anywho, for those of you who have watched this long ass video, I want to thank you guys and tune back in for the next motherfucking recap, bitch.